We are back, folks, and getting ready for the 2022 race season. Over the last few months, Pete and Kevin have been working on the 3 liter sheet metal engine and have added a turbo and a new fuel management system. In this video, you will see the first initial startup and some of the challenges Pete and Kevin are facing to try to get the car to make well over 650 horsepower. We're just going to let the cameras roll so you can experience firsthand how everything goes down. No fancy edits, just genuine horsepower in the making. Tune in and see how this homemade sheet metal engine comes back to life. Yeah, this thing probably won't pass the California emissions test. I'm pretty sure it's a gross polluter. So in this next part, expert tuner Sean Carnahan with JBA Speed Shop here in San Diego, he's going to be setting up the initial program, establishing the baseline parameters with Pete before our first dyno run. For this first attempt, we will be running 6 pounds of boost, 
Let's see what kind of power it makes under load. I want to give a special thanks to JBA Speed Shop and their expert tuners Bruce Tucker and Sean Carnahan for helping us out with this dyno session. Yeah, she got a little hot. Let's see it again from a different angle. So right after that first run, Kevin and Pete go right to work by checking the basics. Something isn't right. She's down on power, ignition's breaking up, and the exhaust temp is a bit on the toasty side as you guys just saw. One, two. One. They look okay two. Man. Yeah, they do. One blind. No, they look fine. Just trying to find out why it wants to break up before it even gets close. Good. Like huh? Kevin, that compression tester when we were checking Scott's reads low. Yeah. Try it again. Yeah, go ahead. Unfortunately, time is running out, and Pete and Kevin only have one week until the first race of the season at El Mirage Lake Bend in California. So Pete went back to the shop and pulled the three liter out and dropped the V12 back in. However, unfortunately, for a second time, the V12 actually dropped an intake valve at 9,800 RPM while under heavy load on the dyno. With no time to waste, and the first race only now a few days away, Pete and Kevin resort to their backup five liter engine just in the nick of the time for the first race. We will fill you in with more details soon, including a special visit to Pete's shop from land speed legend Rick Vesco and Eddie B from Revolt Systems. Last year at Bonneville, this vehicle, which is known as the Little Giant, officially became the fastest electric vehicle on the planet with a recorded average speed of 353 miles per hour. Team Vesco also holds the world record for the fastest wheel-driven vehicle on the planet, known as the Turbinator 2 with a recorded speed of 503 miles per hour. Please stay tuned, folks, as we gear up for a fun and exciting racing season this year.